Hi. All right. We're in my bathroom. <laughs> but there's a reason. Oh, I'm back from traveling. It was good and it was bad. Um, we had a lot of issues getting to Cabo. Um, canceled flight, delayed flights, missed connection. Uh, our luggage went to a completely different state. It went to Texas and we never even went to Texas. So there was a lot, there was a lot of hiccups on our way to Cabo. But once there, it was good. It's just not Jeremy and I's type of trip. We're not the type that's gonna sit around a pool all day and drink. It's just not our vibe. It's a lot of people's vibe, just not ours. I'd much rather go on like adventures and stuff like that. But to each their own. It was still beautiful. It was still relaxing. Something that we definitely needed. Lots of naps on Jeremy's end. But for me, I didn't work much, which is very, very rare. Um, I made a lot of notes. I think a lot. I, I have a tendency to think a lot when I am on vacation. So I made a lot of notes. Um, we ate a lot. Since he spoiled us, of course, we had a great welcome dinner and room drops along with um, a farewell dinner that had our own private fireworks show on the beach, which was really, really awesome. So we had a really good time, but it sounds like on the way home, holy crap. It sounds like on the way home, a billions of people had trouble. Um, they closed down the airport because of a pothole and weren't on the one race in Cabo. Um, Cabo, I guess, was extremely unhelpful with um, helping people get out. Like if their flights were delayed or canceled, it was sad. Like um, so many people had trouble getting out of Cabo and we had trouble getting into Cabo. So I've, it was kind of like, <clears throat> so, but I'm home. After two weeks of travel, I am home for one month, and then I go back to two more weeks of travel. It's a rough life, I know. Um, but yeah, so here we are. I missed you guys. I thought about you often. I bought goodies while I was in Cabo for everybody who um, ordered during the travel time and who are on my mystery box list. If you signed up for my mystery box, as you know, the theme is let's go to Cabo, and I take you Cabo with me. I'm so excited for it. It's a mega box it's it's really really good so but let's talk all of the things there's I'm in my bathroom so I'm like not in my normal spot and I'm trying to like set everything up like normal if I can do this in my bathroom anybody can do this anywhere I promise you um first let's talk stitch Stitch and Angel Collection, Lilo and Stitch Collection, it launches on Monday. Stitch is honestly, it is, and this is not coming from me, Stitch is the number one selling character in the Disney parks. He, if you pay any attention or if you've ever been to Disney, you'll notice that there's a, there's Stitch pretty much in every store, everywhere, even in um, Animal Kingdom. Stitch is everywhere. He is actually the number one selling character within the Disney franchise as far as products, shirts, plush, things, all of the things. Um, he is one of the top selling Disney characters in Cincy also. He has been back, I think this is his fourth time, I think, and it always sells out day one, day one. Um, I think the buddies might stick around a little bit just because we've had those before, but the warmer, the flowers for sure, the flowers for sure, and the buddy clip. I think, I, I feel very, very confident in saying that those are going to sell out probably within the first hour or two. The flowers definitely within that first hour because we've only had one other flower that was color changing and it sold out within the first hour-ish. And this one is a, not only does it color change, there's the blue one and the pink one. It's also a brand new flower design. So... If you want that flower, please let me know so that I can do all the stressing for you because, yeah, it's going to go really, really, really fast. I, I feel that in my heart. So if you are interested in anything in that Stitch collection, please let me know by tomorrow because you're going to need to have your invoice paid by tomorrow so that we can get you on that list because, like I said, I think it's going to go very, very quickly. Um, I worry about me getting my stuff. I will be getting... For myself, I'll be getting one of each of the flowers at least. I will be getting the buddy clips. Um, I already own the buddies and I already own the bitty buddies. I'm debating on the warmer. Like, I want it, 
but there's another warmer coming out that I think I want more than that that you guys will see on Monday. So I think I'm going to go with the other one, but I haven't decided yet. I don't know yet. So if you want anything on that Stitch Collection, please, 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 please let me know. All right. Um, bring back my bars. Obviously, those leave at the end of the month. So make sure that you guys get what you need to get, club what you need to club or cry. Those are your three options. You can cry because you didn't stock up on it. You could stock up on it and, you know, hoard it or you could club it. Those are your only three options when it comes to bring back my bars. So make sure you do accordingly. But let's talk this warmer and scent stunning. I want to keep it. I just don't know where I would put it. I really like my kitchen warmer. I am not a decorator, if y'all know that, and I've told you that before. I'm not a decorator. I'm not very good at it. And I have, like, my warmer that I have in my bedroom, it's meaningful to me. I have a diffuser in my living room. The only other place for a warmer, I mean, there's a warmer in here in my mini, in my mini, in the bathroom. And that one gets changed out for the seasons. And then there was a warmer in the kitchen. And that warmer is I, I like it it's meaningful but god bless america this is so flipping pretty very pretty i i think it is going to be a fast seller on the first let's talk the scent we've already discussed this scent before because remember it was in the whiff box that i showed you guys which also leaves at the end of the month if you want that leopard or cheetah or whatever the heck spotted animal that is you're going to need to get that whiff box by the end of the month because at the end of the month, it is gone. $52 value for $35. It is a steal. Steal. So if that is something on your radar, you need to make sure that you get it for the mm -hmm. end of the month because on July 1st, that content of that is going to change. But we talked about it. Tahitian Twilight. Technical description. A gentle wave of coastal waters bring together the flirty passion flower, pineapple, and white woods uh, for an evening in paradise. That's what it says. That's the technical description. I actually have a warming out in the um, kitchen because I am working on your guys' mailers. The goal is to have them out by tomorrow, if not Monday, which is only a few days behind where I would normally have them out. So you guys will have them very, very quickly. I think it's florally. It is classified as fresh, I think. It is actually classified as a fresh scent. I think it's floral. Not hateful. Like, I, I would not, I probably would not use it in the bedroom because it's a little too heavy floral in the bedroom, but it, I think it would make an amazing, amazing bathroom scent. It's not headache inducing floral, it's just kind of a light, airy floral. I can't put my finger on a specific, I definitely do not smell pineapple. And I don't really smell coastal waters. I smell more of that passion flower is what I smell. It is good. Like I said, I've got it warming right now in the kitchen to make your guys' samples for your guys' mailers. But I personally think Tahitian Twilight is a floral scent. That's my two scents. I think it. everybody's nose is different, so we'll see how it goes. This warmer. Holy mac and cheese. I'm so excited to open this warmer. I wanted to come in here because it's dark. This warmer is stunning in the light. It is stunning in low light, but it just explodes in a dark room. And this is the darkest room in the house I have because there's no windows in it. And it's, you know, what, 7.30, 6, 16. And it's still pretty daylight outside. So I kind of had to do it in here. And I text the kids. I always let them know, hey, I'm going to go live. And then I put in the bathroom, don't ask. <laughs> Because I know one of them is going to come downstairs and be like, what are you doing? The warmer is called Prismatic. I'm so excited to see this in person. We've got a very pretty purple dish. It's a four cube dish. See it? It's very, very pretty. It's like a clearish purple color. Super pretty. The technical, it says, with a flip of the switch, the warmer transforms into a brilliant kaleidoscope of color. Dim the lights to fully appreciate the playful rainbow. It's it's very, very pretty, and I'm hoping I can angle you guys in here, where because it actually is very pretty on the table. Some of our warmers, you know, they shoot light out this way onto the wall and make a very pretty wall design. Some of them are just the glow of themselves are pretty. This one is just everywhere on the floor on the 
um, I, it's because I needed a dark room. Um, some of them are like on the table, which it sits on, has like a pretty, pretty glow to it. This one is just everywhere. I'm not kidding. So let's look at it with the lights off and then we're going to maneuver all around the bathroom to see it. The lights off. It is, and I'm, the price of it is I'm quite shocked. It's only going to be $49.50 on the first, which I'm kind of surprised because of how beautiful this warmer truly is. Like I said, it is pretty off. It is pretty on. It is pretty, the daylight is pretty in the nighttime. I'm not just saying that because if it was ugly, I would tell you guys, I'm not really my vibe. Like I'm not in all those succulent warmers. Those are not my thing. Like they're neat, but I'm like, neat. Oh my gosh, why is this hard to open today? Ugh, there we go. All right, let's get that in there. All right, we're going to look at it and then, like I said, we're going to play around and we're going to turn off some lights. Is that going to work? Hold on, technical difficulties, but hold on. Oh, I think my bulb is broken. I think. I think, hold on. Yeah, okay. And that happens. That's what those, these filament bulbs, they break. So hold on. We're going to go get, we're going to walk. Before you see it, we're going to go walk and get some more bulbs. What size bulb does it take? 25 watts. Oh my gosh, you're going to get off the floor. <gasps> All right, let's go get some bulbs. We're going to go on an adventure. This is what happens when you go live somewhere not in your office. Things happen. Watch, I want any 25 watt bulbs. I should. I think I ordered some. Ta da! Let's grab scissors. Let's grab scissors and be more prepared this time. Okay. I should not be this out of breath already. Is that a sign I'm getting old? Alright. Shut the door. <laughs> So we can hide in the bathroom again. We sit on the floor. <sighs> See, if I can do this business. Oh, Lord, I'm not. Please, I ain't worried about this. And I watch scary movies all the time. Ain't nobody behind me. And if they are, they're going to get scared and they're going to run away. Yes, if I can do this gig on the floor of my bathroom, get my butt up, walk out to my office, and come back in here, anybody, anybody can do this gig. All right. I just want to make sure that it turns on in here before I show you guys. And then we'll, oh, there we go, perfect. Knew I could do this. All right. Oh my God. Holy heck, Batman. This is tricky. Oh my baby Jesus. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is called prismatic. Look at every time you look at it. It's like a different color depending on where you look at it and when. It looks kind of like a bluish color, but up here you can see it's a purpley color. It's got that diamond and it's inset. See how it goes in? Like this part is raised and this part is inside. So it's called a prismatic. And it looks, to me I'm like, why is it purple? But you'll see, like I said, very, it's a very art piece. Like you could stick this somewhere and it's just like, it doesn't even look like a warmer. So we're gonna look at it with the lights off um, we're going to look at it on with the lights on and then off with the lights off. 
I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I really, truly do. All right, are you ready? Look at this warmer. And this, I'm gonna tell you pictures, the videos, it doesn't even do it justice. And I'm gonna to try to take pictures of it maybe outside with the sunlight and see if that works. But like, see how it looks yellows and greens and purples. It's so flipping pretty. The dish now looks blue instead of purple. It's too flipping pretty. So I'm gonna turn the lights off and then we're gonna look at it and then I wanna sit it on like my counter and see if we could see the light show that it puts off because I can kind of see it here but you're not gonna be able to see it on camera. So, hold on. You guys are gonna see an extremely unflattering angle of my stomach but it's all right, you guys love me. Oh, oh baby, Lord have mercy. Here it is with the lights off. Do you see on my face? If you could, I'll show you guys in here. Like it is lighting up the whole bathroom with like this V shape design. It's so pretty. And you can't really see, like see the greens? There we go, see the greens in there? You've got greens, you've got purples, you've got yellows, you've got literally a kaleidoscope. They described it absolutely spot on. So let's see. Hold on, I stand up again. Holy mac and cheese. I'm getting my workout on this one. All right, I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see what it looks like on the table and the um, the wall. Look at it. And then see how it puts it on the wall. Like, look how pretty that is. Let's see. And you can see all over, like it lights up the whole bathroom. That's where y'all were sitting in that shelf. <laughs> so see, that's why I wanted to show you guys in here. I needed it to be dark. Granted, I wish this room was darker, but I needed you guys to be able to see. Like that is just, it's so flippin' pretty. Like I said, any way you look at it, it almost looks different. The kaleidoscope, the way they described that and said that word, that is honestly the most accurate description. The purples, the yellows, the blues, the green. Remember, this dish is actually purple. But when you turn that line on, it's blue. How doggone pretty is this warmer? So yeah, that's our warmer of the month for next month. Whew. It's stunning. I, can't, I like I said, I want to figure out where to put it in my house because it's so pretty. But there it is. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. It's going to be $49.50 on the first. If you need it, please let me know. Like I said, I really think that it is going to be a sell out, a sell faster. I don't know if it'll be a day one sell out, but I definitely think it's going to be a very quick seller. Like maybe, maybe a day, maybe a couple days. It's hard telling, but it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, like I said, remember that dish is purple. This is purple. Turn that light on and it was blue. It's so so pretty so I'm gonna take some pictures of it outside and I'm gonna take some pictures in here I'm not the best picture taker but I'm going to attempt to take some pictures of it in here I'm going to attempt to take some pictures of it outside to try to get some different angles on it but yeah stunning it really is it's one of those statement pieces for sure um Let's see, this is gonna get thrown away so I don't mess myself up. That gets thrown away. That gets thrown away. Um, so yeah, if you need it, let me know. If you need the stitch stuff, the Lilo and Stitch collection, please let me know. Like I said, it's that for sure. The flowers will sell out. The flowers will sell out very, very, very quickly. Um, 
the warmer, the stitch warmer I think will go fairly fast, being that it's a new warmer. The buddies are the only thing that I think might hang out for a hot minute just because we've had them before. But like I said, stitch always sells out. We just, it's fast. The stitch bar was for a very long time our most clubbed scent. It was in more people's club than any other bar we had ever, ever created. So that's kind of wild. That shows you how good of a scent it is too. It has now been replaced with I don't know what, but it is in our top 20 scents of most clubbed. It's in more people's club than any other bar. It's in the top 20. So that's a while that again that shows you how good of a scent the stitch scent is and that scent that 626 scent is going to be the one that's in the blue flower it is going to be what the bitty buddy is scented with and um the buddy clip those are all going to be scented with 626 624 is angel that's gonna be pink that's what's in the um the pink flower is the 624 scent along with the bitty buddy and the buddy clip so if you need those let me let me know and we'll go from there i have to know by tomorrow at the very latest like 5 p.m because i have to get my life in order i have to get a list i do a lot of behind the scenes to try to get these ordered as fastly as i possibly can fastly is that a word as fast as i possibly can for you guys so it takes a little bit of organization on my end behind the scenes so that's why if you guys need on the list for anything in the stitch collection you need to let me know by sunday at 5 p.m so i can get everything in order if you need on the list for this stunning beauty Again, let me know before the 1st because it's going to be at 3 a.m. on the 1st and I will get up and place that order for you because I already have people wanting this one and I already have people wanting the 100th anniversary warmer that is coming out that you guys are going to see on Monday. Um, I'm getting that one. Hands down, I'm getting that one. So um, I will be getting up at 3 a.m. already. So if you need anything, let me know. Get your bring back my bars. Please, for the love of God, get your bring back my bars. There's no magical powers for me to get them. Occasionally they end up in clearance. Occasionally they hold them over in July a little bit. There's absolutely no guarantee. So be the smart person and either stock up on them, cry about it and not get any, or club it. Those are your three options. Do it because like, I tell you guys all the time, there's absolutely no promise, no guarantee that they will ever come back. Rustic Lodge is an example of that. It has not been back since before 2016 because that's a scent I had never smelled before. So, yeah. Can you wait? If there was a scent in there that you absolutely love, can you uh, can you honestly say, yeah, I'll wait four, five, six years. I hope it comes back. Just put the damn thing in your club. Remember, club is cheaper. Do it. All right? If there's anything I can help you with, let me know. I will be placing a big order on Monday. So if you need anything and you were local to me, let me know. And I will place it on that order so that you can get some cheap, cheap shipping. So I'm going to do a 60 second reel with this stunning little beauty. I'm going to take some pictures and then I'm going to work on your guys' mailers. So have a good rest of your Saturday and I will talk to you guys later. I got to find my my end button now that I'm all not my spot.